Hey everybody, my name is Joseph Palumbo and I am a customer success leader for a very cool company called Media Temple out here in Los Angeles, California. And uh, I thought I'd show you something that I built a couple of months ago that has really helped me manage my team. And uh, I think it's really helped my CSMs manage their day-to-day -day workflows and their customer engagements. And it's also helped me be able to pull some metrics uh, and some data to show to my executive leadership uh, as to what changes a good customer success program can achieve. Um, so if you're like me and you're w working with an organization uh, or a company that is relatively new to customer success, chances are you're probably building out the team for the first time or at least building out the program. There's going to be some interim period where you don't really have a dedicated customer success tool. Uh, now, there are some great ones out there like Detango, Gainsight, Strike Deck, Client Success, and I'm currently in the process of, uh, of integrating one of these. Um, but during that interim time, what I wanted to do was is actually have a singular place where my CSMs can put all of their information, we can track all of the work, we can track what's going on in our high-touch uh, customer segment, um, and I'm able to actually pull some data out of there. Uh, if you're like me, chances are that your company probably has a couple of different uh, data stores or data warehouses where you keep uh, relevant customer information. And while you can log in into all of these portals individually, it's to me it's kind of nice to have everything in one place. So you can start looking at everything in a 360 degree view and start being able to pull some, some trends and analysis. And that's what this spreadsheet really tries to do. So let's actually go through this. Um, column by column, and I'll try to make this as quick and painless as possible. Some of this is going to be pretty self-explanatory. Uh, but in column A, this is our customer column right here. So uh, I actually have the customer's company name. You can probably have an individual's name if you want. Um, and what's really cool is, is that uh, using a simple you know, hyperlink, you can link to whatever you want. Uh, so in some cases, you can link to a uh, page in Salesforce, their sales, uh, Salesforce record, uh, you can even link to, in some cases, a, a Google Doc or even a Google folder. Um, or, in some cases, we can also do is use a mail to, and let's say, for example, admin at acmecorp.com. So now, if you want to reach out to this customer directly, and mail is what you typically use, uh, you can just go ahead and click on here, and it'll bring up uh, an email to that customer. Uh, so that's actually really convenient, specifically if you just want to go ahead and uh, reach out to this customer uh, with as little friction as possible. Uh, and these next two columns, B and C, uh, I have these under uh, the combined title of account records. Now for my company, we actually have a couple of systems where we keep customer information. One of them is JIRA, which is where we keep um, all of our support requests and, and that's our ticketing system. And then we have Salesforce, which is where we kind of use it as a CRM and a couple of other things as well. And so what I typically do is I will link to the JIRA, rather to Acme Corp's um, ticket queue in JIRA, and then I'll also link to their Salesforce record in Salesforce. So as I'm going through here, if I wanna see exactly what's going on in their ticket queue or see what's going on in Salesforce, if there are new any opportunities, I don't have to really go anywhere, I can just click and it'll bring me to that page. Uh, in column D, we have their revenue. Um, this is typically put in manually. I haven't really found a very quick and easy way to pull revenue in automatically. Um, then we have the, the CSM column here in column E. Uh, now, it's really easy just to go in there and type stuff in, but I like things to be uniform and I like things to be as one click as possible. So I like to use this feature, which you, you might know about, uh, called data validation. If I click on data validation and I click on list of items, I can go, ahead, go in here and put the names of my CSM. So let's say I'm working with Eric and let's say I'm working with John. I can save that. And what makes this really cool is, is you can click on it and it's really easy every time you add a customer just to select which CSM they're working with. And it keeps everything nice and uniform, which I really appreciate. Um, the next thing we have here, let's skip over to column G. We have last engaged. So what I wanna know is, is what was the last time we worked with this customer? What was the last time we spoke with them? Um, and what, what was it about more importantly? And I want some information about that. And I want it at a glance. So first of all, I need to know, when was the last time we worked with this customer? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight these fields right here and you can actually go ahead and do the whole column if you wanted. I'm gonna go back to data validation, click on here, and this time I want a date. And the cool thing too is if we just save that, now if I go in here and double click, I actually get a nice little calendar pop-up. So I can put today's date, maybe I worked with this customer last week, uh, maybe with this customer, we worked with them you know, a month ago, 
maybe this customer two months ago and maybe this customer, it's been a while since we actually spoke with them. Let's say it's all the way back to May 1st. Next thing I wanna know is, was that engagement, was it proactive or was it reactive? And uh, if you've read my blog, this is what I called the uh, uh, hurt locker ratio, your proactive to uh, reactive efforts. Uh, so what I like to ask my guys to do is to tag whether or not that engagement was something that we proactively reached out about or was this in response to something? So I'm gonna go back to data validation I'm gonna select list of items and super simple, reactive, proactive. So let's say this time I reached out proactively with these two, uh, these were reactive, and let's say this one was reactive as well. Now, the other thing I wanna know is, is customer health. And obviously if you have been a CSM for any period of time or a customer success leader, you know that customer health is probably one of the most critical bits of data uh, that you can amass and you can pull data points into to, to help you figure this out. I don't like to overthink this for the purposes of what I'm doing here. I kind of like to keep this as simple as possible. So let's highlight these. Once again, I'm going to go back into data validation. I'm going to select list of items and I'm going to go good, unknown, churn risk, or churning. These are the ones that I typically use in my current spreadsheet. So let's say this one's good. Um, this one, let's just say we just don't know. Uh, this one we know they've had some problems, their return risk. Uh, let's say Wayne Enterprises, let's say they're actually doing pretty good, but let's say LexCorp, mm, they're actually churning. So we know for a fact they've, uh, they've let us know that they're, they're pretty much on their way out. Um, so we'll get back to that here in a little bit. And then the next one is MRR trend. So I wanna know, you know, obviously one of the things for customer success is one of our key performance indicators is revenue expansion. So I wanna know, are we doing that? Is their revenue going up? Is it going down or is it staying the same? So once again, go back to data validation. And once again, don't overthink this. I'm gonna go up, same, down. And I'm gonna save that. And so let's say these folks are going up. This person is staying the same. Uh, let's say this person is also staying the same, but you know, LexCorp, because they're churning, their revenue is definitely going down. In this last column, what I like to do here is simply go ahead and put um, a link to whatever engagement directly ma matches up with this date. Uh, so if I reached out to Acme Corp and it was a proactive thing and I spoke with them today and we determined they're in good health and the revenue is heading up, what did we talk about? What was that whole thing about? So this would be a link to either a Jira ticket uh, or perhaps a link to a chat screen or, or a chat log, or perhaps it's just a link to a Salesforce node. Uh, but this is where my guys would put in here uh, exactly what it was that they, that they spoke about, what information was gathered. Um, so this is the initial information here that we would gather, and it looks pretty bland, it's useful, um, but in the next video, I'm going to show you how to go and actually make this a little bit more what I call glanceable or skimmable. So we're going to work on that next.